Hi, my name's Leah with Real Dog Training, and today we're gonna to be learning how to teach your dog to wear a muzzle and be happy about it. <laughs> so first, I'm gonna set up my area. I'm going to have the muzzle, the correct size for the dog I'm working with. I'm working with Beamer today. Then I also have high value treats. Beamer prefers chicken, so we got boiled chicken. And I have a clicker within arm's reach so I can mark the behavior when he does it. During this first training session, all I'm doing is clicking and treating for any interaction that Beamer has towards the muzzle. The long-term goal will be Beamer holding his snout in the muzzle for as long as 10 seconds, and then we are ready to move to the next step. Now that Beamer has continuously been comfortable putting his snout in the muzzle for 10 seconds or longer, now we can start working on strapping the muzzle behind his ears. Now that Beamer's gotten comfortable with me strapping the muzzle on all the way, I like to make it easier for him sometimes by alternating. I'll do one where I completely strap the muzzle onto his face for a couple of seconds for a click and treat, and then I go back to just having him hold his snout in the muzzle for a couple of seconds. This helps him become comfortable by bouncing back and forth. At this stage of training, Beamer is comfortable with me putting the muzzle all the way on and clipping it. So now I can start naming the behavior by adding a cue to it. At the start of training sessions, it's important to take it back a couple steps from where your dog has made progress. For example, as you can see, Beamer is now comfortable with the complete behavior of putting the muzzle on and strapping it. But I started with an easy one of just having him put his nose in the muzzle. While you are working with your dog, it's important that you let them control how fast you go with the muzzle. So as you can see here, Beamer got a little bit nervous and I just took the muzzle away. He wasn't ready right then. And in a couple of seconds, he was ready again and we resumed training. Now I'm ready to put the whole behavior together. So as you can see here, I ask for the behavior, put the muzzle on, clip it, wait the 10 seconds, unclip it, click, and give him a treat. Thanks for coming along as I taught Beamer how to use his muzzle and be happy about it. With clicker training and positive reinforcement, you can teach your dog just about anything that they're physically able to do. Thanks, see you next time.